Hello, thank you for joining us again. Hope all is well with you and your family. Well, we're just doing a follow-up to see how your career search is going, to see if you took some of the advice we gave to you in our last web as it relates to career choices and finding a new career. Well, here are just a few things. Education definitely plays a part because your level of education will determine what type of job you will be searching for. Your goals. It's good to write down short-term and long-term goals. That would help you along the process of finding that career that's especially for you. Your interests. Try to find a job, something that you would like to do. That would help in your job search. There are many other skills that you should be trying to obtain during this time. I'll let Mr. Hill, our career service specialist, share some of that very important message, some of that message with you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mr. Hill with the Career Service Services at the East Cleveland Public Library. Some of the things we're going to talk about here are we have digital technology, we have oral and written communication skills, we also want to talk about leadership skills. One of the things we also want to know, do you have an efficient Gmail or email account. Some of the emails and specific websites we have for jobs are Indeed, we have Glassdoor, we have LinkedIn, we have Monster, ZipRecruiter, and Simply Hire. Now these are some of the websites you can go to to get jobs. And I'm going to turn it back over to Ms. Murray. And by all means, don't forget to boost your technology skills. Get that computer experience. Start at the bottom and work your way up. These are just a few things that we suggest and recommend for you. Hey, this was a follow-up about your career search. We wish you the best. Have a great day.